Now we could all use a weekend away with our significant other every now and then. The mineral spas in Rotorua are a great option and Debbie's been trying them out. Good morning Debbie. Good morning. Yeah, on a cold spring day, wouldn't it be the best thing to hop into a hot spa pool? First of all, when we went to Rotorua, we checked out Hell's Gate. Now this is New Zealand's most active geothermal field, so it's well worth a good walk around. So how long does a walk take? Well it took us about 40 minutes just to walk by yourself. Or you can join a tour and that takes about an hour and they'll explain everything that you're seeing there. So afterwards we went and got into the mud spa so that is a mineral enriched very healing for your skin and very good for your internal health as well. You stay in there for 20 minutes and then it's a really good idea to have a sulfur spa afterwards overlooking the facility. Your internal health yeah, that's what they tell me. But you only stay in for 20 minutes. There's attendants watching to make sure you don't stay in too long. They've done a lot of research to find out the optimal time that you stay in the mud. And it's not sticky either, not is it? Not sticky mud. That's what I said when I got there. Is it sticky? Why is it not sticky like I was expecting? You would literally get stuck in the mud if it was thick sticky mud. So what they've done is it's hot sulphur water and they put geothermal mud into it every day. So you can feel it on the bottom as you're walking and it's in a container on the side so you take it out and smear it all over your body and it's really easy oh. to wash it off on the, in the shower afterwards. That sounds nice. Mm, so where'd you go next? Well we stayed at Millennium. So it's a really great facility right on the lakefront. So we had an amazing view from our room right over the lake and over to Sulphur Point. It has a pool as well which has a retractable roof so a great place for you to take the kids they have a really great time in that pool now when you're there just behind the pool there you can see the entrance to the spa because you can go in spend time in the spa pools or have a treatment so hubby had a warm bamboo massage it's a therapy that relieves aches and pains and it loosens tight muscles and different sized bamboo is used to target different areas now I had the Tease Botanics signature facial which included a mud mask and an amazing quartz crystal massage. It was fantastic and can I just say the best facial massage I've ever had in my life hands down. Brilliant. Really? Yeah. It was so amazing. after all that you just want to have a little bit of a nap and room service I take it? That would be a good idea but if you want to just go in somewhere to eat we had lunch at Bar Zazu which is inside the Millennium Complex and restaurant Nikau is open daily from 5.30 for dinner if you want to stay in there as well. Okay so I assume after this that you're done with the massages and you're done with the facials and everything because you know you're taking one for the team there's only so much you can do. Right? Oh, You would think that but no we went for more. <laughs> we went across the road to Polynesian spa because we were there why would you not so it's right across from Millennium I had an amazing 100% Manuka facial Manuka honey facial softens hydrates and nourishes your skin it sounds awful it was, oh, oh look at that look at that how did you do this <laughs> the view out the window look there's windows right there and you can hear the water trickling and amazing oh. and husband had the warm mud massage so really deep cleansing properties there <laughs> and then what you do after that when you're just so tired you go outside there are day beds heated day beds you can lie on and then there's the spa pools. That's the priest pool. Oh, so that's it's really just yeah, swimming up to the side there. That's me working. Yeah, that's what I look like working. <laughs> <laughs> And this, the water in that pool comes from a spring which is slightly acidic, so it's really great for muscular pains and arthritic pain as well. So you've got a really gorgeous sunny day for it too. Oh, it was stunning weather, crystal clear, it was beautiful. But whatever the weather, you would have a great time in those spas. I mean, they're warm and you're undercover if you want to be, so yeah. So you got great. all of that into one weekend in the Rotorua? We spent one night, had amazing time, great massages, we went home feeling so relaxed. Oh, <laughs> oh. Do you want to swap for one day? You stay in the studio and I go and do your job. <laughs> no, not really. I think I could actually probably do it quite well. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Let me tell you about where we ate because yep. I've got a really oh, great yeah. tip. So Capers Epicurean is the place to go to eat. It's on Edoueta Street. It's been named Rotorua Cafe of the Year eight times. So there's a huge array of salads, a cabinet with gluten-free, vegetarian, dairy-free options. I had the juniper berry marinated venison, which was served with a mushroom risotto, and I would have that every night over and over for the rest of my life if I could because it was beautiful but they really focus on whole foods and using local produce so whatever you order it's going to be amazing. Oh, that sounds incredible thank you so much Debbie and if you want more ideas about where you can go when you're having your weekend in Rotorua then you can go to Destination Rotorua website. Thank you so much Debbie.